responded and they said that's not our responsibility and so i called you know the it, the stores both like at no trails in toronto um at the sephora like she was buying google play gift cards to fix supposedly an erroneous charge on her credit card yeah stores don't take any responsibility for it and i mean she's like 110 pounds she's very frail she doesn't speak english and why is she buying perfume gift cards that makes no google play <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know a, a quick question one, and your mom pretty would probably would have said look i need this because the bank called me and said i need to do this and that that would have taken right 15 seconds right and if and if exactly and if the, and she's she's very earnest right like she and she'll go in and she but if they're able to say like no that's not what the bank does um, you should call your, call someone and check, like call your children or call and don't call the bank. So the other thing is they lied. They said they're calling. The reason my mom falls for is they say they're calling from the bank. Yeah. The other one is she recently sold her house and Desjardins Insurance, no word of a lie, found out that she had sold her house, cold called her and had one of their staff go to her house and sign her up for insurance and life insurance, which she already has. And so it's that sort of like, um, when we say ambulance chasing or whatever, like people are looking to profit. And so I had to call the insurance and I said, she already has life insurance. She doesn't know what she has, but she doesn't, she really doesn't understand that sort of stuff. Hmm. And the woman was upset with me to say, no, she looks like she's totally fine. I was like, how can you assess that? Like, why are you cold calling? And then going to a senior's residence, like we intentionally put her into the residence to protect her from people door to door who come in and try and sell her things. 
And the fact that a large multinational, and that was legit, that was what that's their practice. Yeah. But it's a kind of fraud because she can't consent because she doesn't know what's going on, and they don't even check with her. So, like, more ethical practices on the on behalf of stores when they're working with vulnerable people it would be a huge help. Mm. Um, so the Desjardins insurance, they they were they weren't scammers per se, but they, as you said, they were. You thought they were like ambulance chasers. Did did, did you have any success uh, any success getting her out of that contract? Yeah, we did. And but but like again, my mom gave the woman her social insurance number. Hmm. She signed up for this, and we wrote back and we said she actually already has life insurance, and she doesn't know what you're asking her because she doesn't speak English. Yeah. Right, and and if you have a slick sale pitch, she'll fall for it. Like I'll, I think a lot of the callers are like, "Oh, this sounds like I'll get a better deal, or I'm yeah. trying to save some money." 